Burgard Ripia, I'm in Wing 4, inside Beautiful Harmony, it's the heart of a high antique center, inside Beautiful Harmony, on the second week of January, back in the corner of Wing 4, there's a big stack of these license plates, and I miss these toasters, which I, they were 30 bucks a piece over the other place, and I thought they were 60, these are 55, and then, I think you have to, you have to, when you put your toast in, you have to pull it out and toast the other side on these. Art Deco, which they had pictures of these in the Airstream Museum, and I thought they were napkin holders. So I didn't see the plug. And so far, I haven't seen two of these the same, and I've, I've seen at least four or five of them. And then I got on eBay looking, too. That's where I got my $60 figure from. And then I figured out, too, that wouldn't toast both sides. Your homemade bread that you would cut by hand, and you would put it in your toaster and then would you do two at a time or would you use to flip it over to the other side how that would work which would be why they would only be you know worth what they are as far as being usable but they're still around and they're still working when I see them and they're nice and shiny too aren't they I probably didn't hold the camera very well when I was filming that, but some type of a grader is pretty beautiful at 50 bucks. Some art, button box, a good year piece for the tire uh, at 60, and the master craft at 40. Uh, bear screen rug here. A lot of people look for these. She's 900, no, 95 bucks. A Texas piece of some sort here in uh, Springfield, Ohio. Some cool stuff, uh, gas station related back there. An empty booth. Yeah, we're in here. There's no music back here in Waynesport right now. And I'm back there in my t-shirt. It's been pretty uh, reasonable this winter, except for a few days. It was got to be the worst I've seen it, and yeah, it was scary for a few days. Yeah, so a big shock. Uh, it set a record on changing. It set a lot of records. Did some damage. Scary few days. They're kind of ruined the Christmas, the morale especially. That was a bad one. And we had one like that in about 1985, I remember. The 40, 40 below zero type of, yeah. It closed the ski slopes, it closed, yeah, everything. Level, watch a jiggy emergency. They said it was going to last a few days, and we had a few days of it bad, but it, it let up by the third day, thankfully. We gotta have our Christmas. It's pretty beautiful. Uh, just loaded with stuff back here. And it's on the floor. That's government. At a hundred and a quarter. Government issue. Kids, toys. Might see something in here that you had when you was a kid for sure and you haven't seen and Yeah, this is the place. Freaking blow your mind type of stuff. This is real, this isn't like a picture. A store display. It's only 85 bucks from a cock shop. So they're still trying to sell Johnson's lamp shop over in South Vienna when I drove through the real estate end of it. Look at the videos. It's been an exciting few years. I seen one of these on Antique Roadshow last night. 
It was from back east. And it was about the same money as 750, wasn't it? Or that's not even a thousand. I think they probably charged more than that, and it had been glued. But, um, that was actually used back in that day. So people had he smaller heads back then, for sure. Is what I'm getting from what I'm seeing on the old headwear. Um, it's leather to the shrink. Because, yeah, it looks definitely kid size. Long Beach Fire Department. Wow. That's nicer than the one I've seen. And I'm not sure if this light will wash it out, but this stuff is kind of scary on the valuation. I would have thought of that stuff was like a hundred. I'm not sure about these. Um, Fireman's Muffin Bell. There you go. A collection of them. I would never know if I seen one what it was until now. Pretty uh, interesting looking plaque of some sort. Ten fire uh, fireman's collection in here. Uh, Fifty five bucks. A cute little piece of beadwork, and uh, they want twenty five dollars for it. So this is some type of fireman's apparatus, and then this bell is $2,800, and a siren there at eight fifty refurbed, um, the beacon uh, at 400 no, at 100 this brass piece polished up, and another one at $900. Um, some 15s. That's a kind of exciting. The, the price tags turned around. These alarms, I see these all the time. There's plastic ones, metal ones. This one's a three or four hundred dollar one. But yeah, those guys fight over their fire plugs and all that. And uh, they have clubs on the internet and everything. So I'm sure a lot of them would love to have that bell. It's pushing three thousand dollars I'm sure I'm missing half of it but anyway yeah I gotta see my uh, antique road show a little bit always enjoy watching that it's one of the few shows that I watch on television anymore and so and after long long time I've watched that show I'm over here inside Beautiful Harmony looking at the antiques on the second week of January. Some Thunderbirds. Bakelite. So, I have a girlfriend in the jewelry business, but it's just so hard to film it. Or I would spend more time trying to do it. And maybe could get into that sometime learn more here go to Cincinnati or something and the glass too that's out of my realm here's a nice winter scene and some beautiful stuff this one looks like south somewhere not in America Interesting antiques over here. Check it out. This is the last row, uh, the last booth. It's a double. It's impossible to film, but here I am. That would be one of those seeding things. That's the fourth one we've seen. 
Like a, that scooter, I remember that. No one's bought it. It's a 200. That's a lot of money for a little scooter. 225, but it's it's a unique one too. So she is a button. It has part of the label intact. To find it's um it just says early scooter something uh, had a name to it. You know, some they would give it a cool name and. A cool price too, so thanks for watching, Bogarby.